Hi everyone, today we're gonna to get into a back bicep and abs circuit. Are you ready? Grab one single pair of dumbbells, that's all you're gonna to need today, and we're gonna start with the back. So open those feet nice and wide with the dumbbells facing away from you, palms facing up, leaning forward. So as we're leaning forward, I want you to remember that we are not coming forward and forming an arch in our back. You're keeping that chest lifted. So anytime that we're leaning forward, keeping that posture number one, Lifting the chest, shoulder blades are back. Arms are hanging heavy. We're gonna row for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From right here, hang those hands heavy. We're gonna curl for one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Palms are now facing each other. We're gonna get into the same rotation. Rows coming, one, squeeze, two, three, four, five, squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right here, hammer curl. So keeping your palms facing each other, curl up for one, two, three, Four, no swinging in your upper body. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Drop those dumbbells down, let's come to a seat. So now working the core, bring the hands up. So palms are facing up, feet are rested lightly on the mat. Slowly start to lower one vertebrae at a time. Right here, you're not lowering all the way. We're holding here in a boat. Your feet are gently touching the mat. If you want that extra balance and that extra challenge, lift that chest up just to give you that little bit of balance and remove any pressure in that lower back. From right here, lift the toes up, holding here as long as you can, breathing, core is tight, arms are helping you with balance, hold, breathe, point the toes, lower abs are in, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the feet down. Now slowly lower all the way down towards the mat. Hands come behind the head, gently with those fingertips, coming all the way up and squeeze for 10. Nice and slow and controlled, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, holding here. Three, two, and one, slowly lower. Grabbing one dumbbell, we're gonna get into a crunch with a bicep curl. Hold the dumbbell directly out in front of you. We're gonna crunch and curl at the same time. So you're gonna come up and crunch and curl those hands, coming back down. Good, two, down, three, down, four, good, five, down, six, beautiful, four more, one, down, two, three, last one, and four, slowly start to lower, drop that dumbbell down, hands come behind the neck, lift the knees up, you're gonna circle crunch one, two, keeping the knees bent, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, dropping those feet down. We're gonna get into a circle crunch again, however, this time you're gonna lift the legs, point the toes out in front of you. So from right here, hands come behind the head, you're gonna crunch and bring those knees in. Extend the legs, challenging it a little bit. Here's two, good, and all the way out. Three, four, halfway, five, good, six, stretch, seven, point the toes, eight, good, nine, last one, and 10, crunch it in, and release. Good job, bring yourself all the way back up to a seat, all the way up, oh, there we 
go. So you're right here. We're gonna go back into that boat pose one more time. So feet are just lightly touching the mat. Slowly start to lower, lift your chest up, remove any tension in that lower back. So really driven with that chest, hands come out in front of you, nice and strong, parallel to the ground. From right here, if you wanna challenge yourself, lift those toes up, feel that shake. Here's a beautiful boat pose. Keep that chest lifted or you're gonna feel a little bit of tension in the lower back. You're doing great, holding here for three, two, and one. Beautiful, slowly start to lower. Hands come behind the neck, getting into some bicycle crunches. So bring the knees up. We're gonna crunch slow and steady, and then we're gonna pick up the pace. So right elbow, left knee for one, two, point the toes, three, four, five, good. Rotate that torso, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Pick it up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way up, grabbing those dumbbells. Let's work the biceps. Here we go. Leaning forward, rotate, chest is forward, shoulder blades are back. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Row, lower belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Coming up, shake it out a little bit. Leaning forward, now we're gonna get those hammer curls. So we're reversing it out. We're doing bicep, then back. Hammer curl for one, two, three, four, five, good, five, squeeze, four, all in those biceps, three, two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out. Row, hands are facing each other. Now we're gonna row towards the belly. Lift the chest up for one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Standing up, alternating bicep curls. Curl up on the right, left, two, three, four, five, halfway. Here's four, don't forget the breath and the belly. Breath and belly always tend to go. So focus on that breathing, keep the lower abs in. Final two, and one, and one. Good, from right here, open up those that stance. We're gonna get into a squat with a bicep curl. So toes are pointed out for a nice sumo stance. Coming down in that low squat, we're gonna curl it up for one, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all the way down. Hold those dumbbells down, holding here. Keep the shoulders back, chest is lifted, adding that little bit of weight with those dumbbells. If you need to drop one and just hold here like a goblet squat, but staying super low, perfect. Or if this is still a little bit too much for you, drop that and hold here. Sit down just a little bit lower, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, rise up. Coming down in the top of a push-up, we're gonna get some renegade rows. Working the entire body here, forming a nice strong push-up. Feet are gonna be really wide, okay? So the wider the feet, the more you have that stabilization, and we wanna work the back, okay? So you wanna make sure you're nice and stable. We're gonna row on the right side, so we're gonna row five. So lift the dumbbell up on the right side, row one. Two, three, four, and five. Hold strong, both arms are down, dumbbells are on the mat. Get three push-ups, one, two, three, up, nice and strong. Row on the left for five, four, three, two, and 
and one. Hands are back on the mat, three push-ups. One, two, three, all the way up and hold. Now we're gonna alternate. We're gonna row right, row left, push up. Five times, renegade row, one, one, push up. Good, four more, row, row, and push up. Three more, row, row, and push up. Two more, row, push up. Good, last one, row, and row, and push up. If you need to drop down to those knees at any time, feel free to drop down to those knees. You could do the same thing. Row on the right, row on the left, and push up. So just keep those knees out nice and wide to help you balance. Let's go ahead and do five. Whether you're on the toes or your knees, just do the same thing. I'm gonna stay on those knees to show you a different variation. Here we go. One, one, push up. Good. One, one, push up. Three more. Row, row, push up. Last two, row, row, and push up. Good job. Row, and row, last push up. Take it down all the way up. Stay on those knees. Let's get into some bicep work right here. Alternate together. So you're gonna row on the right, curl, left, curl, now together, curl, getting 10. Here's two, nice and strong, no swinging because we're on our knees, beautiful. Here's three, curl, together, good. Four, together, we're halfway, five more. One, and one, together, good. Two, two, together, and three, three, together, let's get two. One and one, come together, last one, row and row together, good. Come seated down on those heels. Let's stretch it out, bring those arms up overhead, grab opposite elbow, pull down towards your back. Switch it out, opposite elbow, bring those fingertips down your back, stretch it out. We're almost there. We're gonna do a one and done on this. So dig deep with me, we're gonna finish strong. <sighs> All right, we're gonna start with the back and then we're gonna burn out the buys. So here we go. Back, buys, and an ab finisher. So you're here, we're gonna get 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up. Back down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stand. We're finishing with 50 reps of each. We've got 30 more. Breaking it up into tens. Coming forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, stand. We've got two more. You've got this. Coming forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Last 10, rotate the neck. Drop the weight if needed. Let's just finish together for 10. Rowing to the lower belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. Let's go to the abs and then we'll finish with the biceps to give the upper body a little bit of a break. Coming down, we're getting 50 reps. Each ten is going to be a different crunch variation, starting with basic crunches. Coming up towards the sky for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, 
oblique crunches. Bring those knees to the right. Coming straight up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shift the knees to the left. Oblique crunch is coming up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Coming back to center for those bicycles. Keep the toes pointed, nice and slow for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Point the toes, eight, nine, and ten. Good, here we go. Curl crunches with the toes straight. Legs long and lean, point the toes, crunch in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're almost there, eight, nine, and ten, Woo! All right, here we go, 50 reps for those buys, and we're gonna call it a day. It's a one and done burner, let's go. Leaning forward, regular curls. That means palms are facing up. Let's curl for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up, stretch it out. Getting into those hammers. So we're gonna rotate between regular and hammers. Leaning forward, now hammer one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Three more sets of ten. See how if you break it up into those mini sets, it's so much more doable. All right, here we go. Reverse the grip. Curl one, two, you've got this. Three, four, five. It's a one and done, so go strong. Two, three, four, five. Whew. All right, drop the weight if you need to. Only two more sets of 10, so 20 more to go. So if you can stick with me with the weight you have, you can do it. This is it, we're only doing one round today. All right, so let's go into those hammers. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Whew. eight, nine, and 10. Are your biceps on fire, pumped up? All right, let's finish it together. Open up those legs nice and wide. A little extra challenge, but it's actually gonna feel really good because we're gonna sit low in that squat and we're gonna curl for those last 10 with a regular curl. So palms are facing away from you, coming down nice and low. We only have 10. Here we go, ready? Curl one, staying low. Two, three, four, and five, come on, if you need to drop one, drop one. You have one here, let's curl it up, stay strong. One, two, three, four, and five. Drop that dumbbell, slowly guide yourself up. Hands come up overhead, feel that nice stretch. Grab opposite elbow, reach down your back. Walk yourself back in. Other side, reach for the opposite elbow. Fingertips come down your back. Woo, my biceps are pumped up. Love it. All right, friends, thanks for joining me today. One and done. We rocked it, we nailed it. Buys, back, and abs. Have an amazing day, and I cannot wait to see you next time.